And the uses and application of germanium, when it was discovered, were, were very limited. But when the transistor was invented in December of 1947, the situation changed drastically. Germanium was the first element employed in the fabrication of transistors, which, as you know, are the active component of electronic circuits, which are mainly used for amplifying and controlling electric signals. However, these original germanium transistors were very temperature sensitive and the use of germanium as the main element for the design of the transistor diminished uh, progressively. It was necessary a less temperature sensitive design for the transistor and from the 1960s silicon dominates the market being the principal semiconductor material employed. Now, the use of germanium-based transistor has been reduced for some uh, effects pedals employed by nostalgic musicians that want to reproduce the characteristic sound from the early rock and roll era. Currently, silicon germanium alloys are employed in high-speed integrated systems and are replacing the gallium arsenide semiconductor in wireless communication. The silicon germanium chips can be reproduced with low cost and they show excellent uh, high speed properties which made them really useful in the fabrication of mobile phones, for example. Nowadays, germanium is mostly employed in infrared optics due to the fact that germanium is transparent to the infrared light and so a high refractive index. Therefore, the metal is employed in the production of windows and lenses of thermal imaging system for the TED infrared, infrared uh, radiation. The germanium lenses focus the infrared radiation em emitted by a body onto a detector compound, usually cadmium telluride, responsive to the infrared light, which generates an electrical signal proportional to the amount of radiation. After amplifying the signal from the detector with a signal processor system, the information of the signal is extracted and delivered to the display system. This device, for example, has been highly, highly uh, employed by military service to detect and target opposite forces in the dark and currently is being employed in some night vision system in modern automobiles uh, and firefighter applications. Due to the higher refractive index of germanium, we find another important application of the element in fiber optics communication networks. The demand of the element has increased with the development of the broad band technologies and now germanium oxide is the usual dopant for silica fiber. Germanium is also used as the substrate of the wafers high efficiency multi solar cells, substituting, substituting the gallium arsenide substrate employed in the past. Germanium wafers are as efficient or more than the old gallium arsenide substrate, but are mechanically stronger, which uh, allow to employ thinner substrates to reduce the weight of the solar cell. Additionally, germanium wafer can be produced completely free of dislocation. Finally, there is other important use of germanium, especially for the compound germanium dioxide, as a catalyst in the production of polyethylene terephthalate, PET, a polymer usually employed for food packing due to the excellent thermal stability. In the case of tin, as we have discussed in this learning sequence, it has been historically employed in the manufacture of bronze, an alloy which is mostly copper and contains about a 12% of tin. Nowadays, only a small fraction of the tin extracted is dedicated to make bronze. However, this is, uh, tin is a metal that combines with many other metals to form different important alloys. Pewter, for example, it is an alloy where it is the major component, between 18.5 and 99 percent, and the remaining consists of copper, antimony, and bismuth, and sometimes lead, although this is now less common. Babbitt's metal, bell metal, queen's metal, Britannia metal, or rose metal are other exotic, exotic names for different types of alloys that contain tin. But one of the most relevant, uh, relevant uh, alloys are those formed by uh, thin and lead, due to the, le the low uh, melting temperature being the most commonly used material for soldering. For example, they are employed for soldering copper pipes or joining electric circuits. However, nowadays the important restriction in the use of lead has conducted to a decrease in the use of this element in such alloys. 
The replacement of lead is not an easy tax due to the increase of the melting point and for the fact that in lead-free solders, tin pests could occur. Incidentally, the tin pest or tin disease is produced by the conversion between the two major solid allotropes of tin. What happened is that the shiny tetragonal highly crystalline tin allotrope, known as beta tin or white tin, which is stable for temperatures above, above uh, 13 Celsius degrees, is gradually converted at temperature below 13 Celsius degrees to the non crystalline allotrope. This form, called as alpha tin or grey tin, is a non metallic crumble powder that adopts a cubic strata. The transition is slow at the beginning and requires prolonged exposure uh, to low temperature, but once it's started, it accelerates quickly. This beta, or alpha uh, beta to alpha transition involves that metal expands due to the fact that alpha allotrope has a lower density than the beta form. The tin pests generate important problems in museums where the temperature is too low because it can damage historical artifacts and additionally, once an object is infected, the effect can be spread to the other tin objects that are in contact with it. By the way, he has been said that the tin pests was the reason for which the Napoleon's army was defeated in 1812. The confidence of French troops was affected because the tin buttons fastening the uniforms disintegrated due to the tin pests during the long cold winter invasion of Russia. The tin pest is prevented in commercial tin by allowing the metal with small amounts of bismuth, antimony, lead or silver. Other important use of tin is for coating other metals such as tin, iron, lead or steel in order to prevent their corrosion. For example, the typical tin cans employed for food uh, preservation that we found in the supermarket, which essentially consists of containers made of steel or wrought iron, thinly coated with tin. The can is protected for long storage uh, periods against the corrosion, as long as the can it is not exposed to oxygen of the atmosphere. An interesting use of tin is in glass industry, in order to make window glass perfectly plain. This process, known as the Pickleton process, is a method to produce high-quality flat glasses, which are known as float glasses. The process involves literally floating the molten glass along a surface of the denser molten tin bath. The molten glass is spread out over the perfectly uniform surface of the tin, and the glass also becomes flat. The process allows to produce thinner flat glass of high quality. These glasses are really demanded in a huge variety of different markets, such as building industry, automobile, solar application, furniture, and many other applications. Finally, there are also other remarkable applications of tin compounds as catalysts. For example, tin of tono 8 is an efficient catalyst for the reopening polymerization of cyclic esters to produce biodegradable plastics with important application in medicine, packing, agriculture or other areas. The last element studied in this section is lead, which has been one of the most relevant elements from the mankind uh, and it is used its date from the old civilization in Egypt and Babylon. Lead was hugely used also in Roman Empire to construct a vast network of lead pipes in order to transport the water. In fact, lead was so common in Roman Empire that they used container of lead to boil the grape juice before the fermentation process. That uh, resulted in a more sweet flavor, flavor from the wine as consequence of the formation of a compound that they call sapa, and nowadays we know it is lead to a tenoate. In fact, the use of sapa was so common as a sweetener that they employ it uh, as an artificial sweetener uh, of many of recipes. Now it's thought that uh, the use of sapa could have been the reason of the infertility of the Roman upper class and the mental disorder of many of the Roman emperors. Certainly, now there is a great concern about the toxicity of lead and its use is regulated and even banned for some application. However, the metal is still produced in high tonnage over the entire world, being employed in different applications for which are difficult to find an adequate substitute. 
The major application for lead is the lead acid battery, the oldest type of rechargeable battery which was invented in 1860 by a French uh, physicist named Gaston Planté. However, in spite of the great number of years after the discovery, the lead batteries are still in use today. Few other batteries are so reliable and able to compete with the cheap electrical energy storage provided by lead acid technology. That makes lead acid battery extremely demanded for both movable and stationary application. The main problem associated with this type of battery is their low cycle life, only achieving between 300 and 500 cycles of uh, a standard battery. The application of less acid battery can be grouped in three categories. A starting lighting and ignition, or SLI, employed for cars, motorcycles, trucks, aircraft and ships. Traction, which is present in electric trucks, road vehicles and golf cars and stationary for emergency supplies and interruptible power supplies or UPS and energy storage. A typical lead acid battery of a car consists of a series of lead plates connected in series and immersed in a 4.5 molar solution of sulfuric acid that acts as an electrolyte. The plates acting as the cathode of the cell are made from lead dioxide whilst the anode is made of spongy lead in order to maximize the surface area in contact with the electrolyte. The plates from the anode and the cathode are uh, separated by a non-conductive separator uh, to prevent a short uh, circuiting. The chemistry involving in the process to produce the electric current consists of the reduction of the cathode of lead dioxide to insoluble lead to sulfate, while at the A node uh, occurs the oxidation of lead to lead to sulfate as it is shown in the following equation. This redox uh, system will generate two volts, but considering that there are six cells connected in series in lead, cell and lead acid battery, that will produce a total potential of 12 volts. The importance of the lead uh, acid battery resides in that this reaction is reversible, so the battery can be recharged by applying an electric current in the reverse direction. By doing that, lead to sulfate, which remains on the electrode surface, can be transferred back uh, to the reactants lead and lead dioxide. The discharge of the battery provides the energy to start the cars, whilst the energy provided by an alternator during the normal driving is the responsible for recharge the battery. The second major use of lead during the past decades uh, was as an active component of gasolines, in order to increase the octane rating of petrol and reduce the characteristic knocking uh, provoked by the premature ignition of low octane rated gasolines, which cause, which cause a great loss of power of the engine. The octane rating of the gasoline is a measure of the proportion of branch chain molecules and therefore a high octane number indicates a high percent of branch chain hydrocarbons, which due to the high inertness, uh, inertness compared with stray hydrocarbons prevent the premature uh, combustion avoiding the knocking. In order to increase the time number of gasoline, was added uh, uh, to the petrol an organometallic organo compound of lead called tetraethyl lead or TEL, which can be uh, easily prepared through the reaction of chloro uh, chloroethene uh, with an alloy of uh, lead and sodium. This anti knocking additive uh, dissociates and produces free ethyl radicals that are able to combine with other radicals intermediates produces during the irregular combustion process and to form sta stable uh, hydrocarbons. Therefore, the chain oxidation reaction is slowing down and the chance of any early detonation is reduced. By this process, lead or lead oxide are produced and they get deposited in the engine uh, or exhaust uh, pipes, causing important damage uh, to the catalytic uh, converters employed for the removal of carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide and onboard hydrocarbons. 
in order to reduce the damage of the engine, in addition with TEL, a typical additive of gasoline containing a small proportion of ethylene dichloride and ethylene dibromide, which allow to convert lead and uh, lead oxide to the corresponding volatile lead halides, which are able to escape as gases to the atmosphere. However, that led to another problem related with human health, because it shows that lead gases are hazardous and poisonous to human beings and animals. Therefore, nowadays the use of leaded gasoline has been uh, phased out and new automobiles are equipped with uh, catalytic converters designed for work with unlead gasoline with the need for anti-knocking additives. Another important use of lead is in the manufacture of glass, due to the fact that the incorporation of lead as lead oxide will increase the refractive, refractive index of the glass, which makes this type of crystal very useful for lens making. The presence of lead also increases other important properties of the glass, such as the viscosity, its electrical resistivity and its X-ray absorption capability, that may lead glass uh, very appropriate for numerous applications. For example, it has been used for cathode ray tubes in TV sets, in fluorescent tubes, or for radiation protection. Additionally, a lot of lead glass is present in our uh, houses for decorative uh, glassware and uh, vases. The high refractive index results in an appearance senior, brighter, and colorful than common glassware. Although the presence of lead in glasses is not considered too much dangerous because lead is well fixed in the glass structure, some alternatives have been tested, but all of them are more difficult to process. The high level of absorption of radiation of lead makes this element very useful for employing it in laboratory and hospital where high energy radiation is utilized. Additionally, lead show an excellent noise absorbing capacity, which in conjunction with its good malleability make it a valuable material for, for uh, protect uh, building for er uh, earthquakes. In fact, lead has been an element hugely employed since the antiquity for building, for example, for roofing, uh, building facing or as a waterproof material. Even today, lead is still employed, for example, to provide reliable waterproofing in some buildings or for restoring and uh, preserving many historical buildings around the world, such as cathedral, car houses or university. Lead is also employed in paints, although it is no longer used indoors due to the, its toxicity. Over the centuries, the paint known as white lead, which basically is lead carbonate, was employed for painting due to its clean whiteness, its opacity and its loose tendency to become brittle. The toxicity of lead has conducted to replace this compound for titanium dioxide, which is now the pigment dominant of the market. However, lead is still used as a pigment for outdoor painting uh, for preventing rusting. The known as red lead, which is a mix oxide of lead 2 and uh, 4, namely PV3 or 4, is employed as an orange pigment that has an anti-corrosive uh, agent for steel construction. Another important use of lead is uh, to provide external uh, sheath of power cables, although for cables above the ground is being substituted by polyethylene layers with embedded uh, aluminium foil. Subterranean and submarine cables made the presence of lead necessary in order to prevent the corrosion. For this application, the use of pure metal, it is not recommendable because it is possible to occur intercrystalline cracking and therefore it is advisable alloy it with other metals such as antimony in order to increase its strength. This alloy of lead with antimony is commonly known as hard uh, lead and is also greatly employed in ammunition. It is important to remark the importance of lead in different alloys. In addition with the mentioned hard lead alloy, it is frequent uh, to employ lead in combination with metals such as tin, bismuth or cadmium in alloys that melt at relatively low temperature. This type of alloys, known as fusible uh, or long melting uh, alloys, are used as fire prevention devices, molds, tube bending, solders and casting. Vitin alloys, on the other hand, are either uh, lead or tin based in combination with a small amount of cadmium and thus present uh, good fatigue uh, properties at higher temperature. 
And finally, lead is also present in some amount in some steel and brass types, it will clearly improve their machinability. So uh, we have seen, uh, although uh, the presence of lead is an environmental issue for health, even today it continues the need of employed lead for some application. And made of lead, one of the most important elements in our uh, daily lives.